I'm here to do a big book haul with you. I haven't done a book haul, I realized, since Christmas. Um, so I'm doing one now because I have, I've gotten a lot of books for presents or I've bought them. Um, yeah, or like book of the month, like I have that too. Also, I sound weird because I have like some sort of like nasal thing going on. So I know I sound completely different than normal. Um, I'm fine. It's not COVID. It's just some sort of like congestion, but I, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, so these are in no like certain order. They're not chronological or like by my favorite or anything, but we're just gonna, I have a pile. So we're just gonna go from like the top of the pile on down. This is probably gonna have to be like a multiple part video um, because I'm me. So would it be a video with me if there weren't multiple parts? I don't think so. So the first books I want to talk about are actually a lot of these are series. So like that makes it a little bit easier, I guess. Uh, I got the Bridgerton books, not all of them, but like most of them for a graduation present from my mom. So thanks mom. But uh, yeah, so I got these. I'm super excited to read them. I haven't started them yet, but I'm excited to. I need to finish some other books first, especially some arcs that I'm way behind on. Um, and then I will get into these. So I'm super excited. If you aren't aware, uh, these are now a Netflix series. Um, if you weren't aware, the Netflix series did start out as books by Julia Quinn. Uh, they are very popular. I'm pretty sure they've been around for years. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long does it say. Excuse me. In 2000. So these books are 20 years old at least. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I love that like they all match sort of like the first one is obviously like the cast from the show but like and uh the next ones are not but that's because they haven't had their their season yet but like they still match they're all the same height they all have like a similar spine so I really like that uh they're really pretty and uh they're very steamy so I'm excited to read these um eventually soon hopefully uh the next books that i got i don't remember like when i got these i got this one first it's a uh, court of thorns and roses i know it was sometime after christmas because it's not in my christmas haul um but i'm not sure exactly when uh i loved this book it gave me beauty and the beast vibes i totally see what all the hype is about when i was like just a few pages into this I had to go get the second book because I was like I need to read the second book when I'm done have I yet no but I will um so yeah I got this like a few weeks after I finally started reading this uh that was sometime this spring I think uh I can't wait to start reading this especially since this is the one that everyone talks about all over Instagram and TikTok and YouTube so I'm super excited to get into this like this is probably the most talked about one other than uh, A Court of Silver Flames so I'm so excited so eventually I'll finish the series like I've been reading a lot more lately and I'm, I'm super happy about that um, yeah so the next book that I got was also actually a graduation present it is completely different from the rest of these like it is not new it is it's very close to my heart it's a very special book um, my husband's grandma so my grandma too now uh, she gave me this it is an antique copy of gone with the wind this was um, my husband's grandfather's copy so that's why it's it's like pretty worn out like it's it's been well loved but i that just makes it mean even more to me and um potentially i could fix this in the future but i need access to like more bookbinding stuff um 
these I would probably need to just like take the cover off and like start over uh, and like refurbish it, like put a new spine on and everything, which is that I can't do that here. Um, at least not properly. So I'm super excited about this. I kind of want this to be the copy that I read and I'll just read it really, really carefully. Um, cause I, I still have not read Gone with the Wind. I've seen the movie a million times, but I've not read the book. So also fun fact, Margaret Mitchell wrote this when she sprained her ankle and could not leave like she couldn't like go do anything like she was like basically on bed rest until her ankle healed so she wrote a book like how cool is that that was in like 1933 or 34 so i just thought that was a cool piece of history when i learned that a few years ago um yeah i will get around to reading this at some point this is gonna go up here because it is special um the next one I'm also super excited about. I saw this on NetGalley. I requested it and they said no uh, because like I said, I'm behind on my uh, arcs and they know that and I've been behind pretty much since the beginning and they're not super happy with me, but um, yeah. So hopefully they keep sending me books, but like I need to catch up. Anyway, I saw this in that galley a few months ago and finally it came out and it was one of the book of the month add-ons. It is One Last Stop by Casey McQuinston. Uh, this is supposed to be so great. The love interest in this is supposed to be so good. I didn't realize for some reason when I read the synopsis on NetGalley that this is LGBTQ, um, but I'm super happy that it is because it is June and it is Pride Month and so it's fitting that I discuss this here. Um, I'm super excited about this. It just sounds like such a great, I don't know if it's YA, but it just sounds like such a great fun read, like a good romance. Um, and it's just so cute. Like, isn't the cover so cute? Like, that's adorable. I love it. And so I was super pleased that Book of the Month had that. And I was like, well, obviously I need that book. And I had a credit. So my whole order wound up being like $10. So I was like, yeah, two books for $10. Woo so the next book that I got was uh, also a Book of the Month book. There are a lot of Book of the Month books. I haven't done a haul in months. So there are a lot here. Uh, it is Arsenic and Adobo. Um, basically this is a murder mystery and the main characters, Lila, Lila, her, she owns a restaurant and I believe her ex-boyfriend comes in for like dinner and he dies pretty soon after. So obviously everyone thinks that she did it, uh, cause she has motive or whatever and um, she basically has to prove that it was not her. But like, this just sounds like somewhere between a cozy mystery and a regular mystery. Like it just sounds super cute. So I was super excited to pick it. Um, I would also love to like try Adobo sometime. I don't, I don't recall ever having had it, but I'm, I'm very interested now and uh, I would love to either go to a restaurant that has it or like figure out how to make it myself because we have so many international markets in my town like if I could find the proper ingredients and like watch some YouTube videos I'm pretty confident that I could do pretty well but obviously it wouldn't be as good as uh authentic adobo but like how cool would that be um especially if I was able to do that while I read this so I guess stay tuned for that in the future like maybe I'll do that um let me know in the com in the comments if you would be interested in a vlog of me going to uh one of my international markets and seeing if I can find the stuff to do adobo and filming it while reading this like would that be a cute weekend reading vlog would you like that let me know in the comments um next book I'm actually almost done with uh, I've been listening to 
So I got this from the library. I had to give it back to the library um, because I wasn't I wasn't done yet though. So I went and bought it from Irvington Vinyl and uh, I love it. It is so great. I'm so invested in Kaya, the main character. She's just awesome. She's such an inspiration. Like she's been like neglected. She's been abused. Uh, the whole town is like prejudice against her. Like all of this horrible stuff and to top it all off she's suspected of murder so it's just great but like I had to go buy it from the from the bookstore so that I could finish it I have about I've been listening to it now and reading it so I have about 50 minutes left of the audiobook and a little bit less than that uh but yeah, it's really, really good. It's starting to wrap up. And like now I know that like Kaya didn't do it, but they have to convince the rest of the town that she didn't do it. So hopefully I can't picture it not having a happy ending. Like what? Like, no, it has to have it. It has to end well. She can't go to jail or get the death penalty. Um, Excuse me. Uh, the Star-Crossed Sisters of Tuscany was my book of the month pick for uh, June. And then, like I said, I added one last stop as an add-on. This has been on my TBR on book of the month for a while because you can pick the backlist books as well as like the current picks. If you're not super impressed with like whatever the current picks are, you can pick from the backlist. Um, people keep talking about this and just like raving about it. So I was like, it sounds cute. Like I, I want to read it. It just sounds like a good family book. Uh, there's like their bakers and like, it just sounds kind of like a romance, like family, family romance and, and just love and loss and you know all of those things that you typically find in a uh, contemporary book but it just sounds so cute plus I love a good book set in uh, a different location because I feel like everything is set in the U.S. or England but like so it's really refreshing when you find books that are set somewhere else like this is set in Tuscany like I haven't read very many books about Tuscany so like excited about this um one of the next books that I want to read is the Sundown Motel this was another backlist pick from book of the month uh this is by Simone St. James uh from what I remember the main character decides to work work at the hotel that her aunt worked at years and years and years ago and her aunt went missing and was never found and like this hotel seems to have a history of that. So the main character is trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. And uh, potentially like she could meet the same fate. I don't think that she does, but like I'm sure that she's in danger of that. So it sounds like it's a thriller slash mystery maybe. Like it's supposed to be pretty spooky. So I'm torn like I want to read it now but like I also want to wait until spooky season and read it then so <sighs> we'll see uh so that will have to be it for this part of the haul I have more books to talk about but I think I did pretty good uh so stay tuned for part two there are just a few more books so I'll see you in the next one <music>